Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Dan's News, and welcome to the very first Dan's News Reviews. All right, so this is the very first Dan's News Reviews. Now, this is the very first time I'm doing this, so yeah. Um, you're going to see the next couple Dan's News Reviews, me wearing the same shirt. It's because I'm filming all of them on the same day. Um, that's why. I, I do change clothes. Unlike Seamus, he always wears a Slurm shirt. So all the Dan's News Reviews you will be seeing on this channel, my channel, um, are all going to be DVD Blu-ray reviews. Um, for the theatrical reviews, uh, movies released in theaters, you will be seeing them on youtube.com slash the creature hub. Um, there aren't any of those yet, but uh, when there are, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll make a video so you can know in an update. So the very first movie I'm reviewing, Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy. So yeah, the basic setup of this movie is that there is a mole in the British intelligence. And it's up to Gary Oldman's character, George Smiley, who is a retired former spy, to come back out of retirement and figure out who the mole is. Because he's worked with all these people before, and he has a history with all these people. And and, and that's pretty much the synopsis of the movie. And that's that's pretty much all that happens in the movie. Um, honestly, it's, it's probably one of the... I, Here's the thing. I'm going to give you a quick little rundown of the kind of movies I like. I like a lot of different kind of movies. I even like really slow movies that have um, really good performances involved. And I have to say, in this movie, the performances are all excellent. There is not a bad performance amongst any of the actors. Um, Gary Oldman. Um, usually you're used to seeing Gary Oldman in a bit more of an eccentric character. Um, you know, he played Stansfield in The Professional. He played um, whatever character he played. He played the bad guy in um, The Fifth Element. Um, and more recently, he's been the bad guy in The Book of Eli. Well, he, he hasn't been the bad guy too much um, recently. But The Book of Eli, he played a very excellent eccentric kind of bad guy character. And that's, those are the characters he usually kind of plays as eccentric characters. Dracula, um, Sirius Black, and Harry Potter. Um, usually his characters are a bit larger than life kind of characters that are all over the place. In this movie, I, I mean, I knew going in from all the reviews and everything I've seen um, that this character was going to be a very um, slow, kind of quiet character. I mean, the, his character doesn't talk for the first 20 minutes of the movie, and probably a little bit shorter than that, probably about the 15 minute mark or so. Um, his character doesn't say a word. He just says everything with his expressions. He's very serious, no-nonsense kind of character. He doesn't even... I mean, he's hes having conversations with characters without even talking kind of thing. Um, and it's, it's, it's really... Imp it's an impressive feat um, that I think he, he managed to uh, achieve there. Um, but that's kind of where the movie stopped interesting me, was past the performances, there wasn't a whole lot more to it. Now I know um, this this was based on a book, um, an adaptation of the book, uh, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, um, written by John Lacar, and it had also been adapted previously, I believe in a television miniseries? You gotta love that I did all this research for this review. Um, I didn't do any, I just trivia. So I'm aware it was a miniseries as well as a, uh, a book, um, and it's actually a series of books if I am correct in assuming that. It's not, I'm not assuming that. I'm pretty sure that there were more than one uh, book in the series with, uh, with George Smiley, um, the character. And um, I haven't read the book or and I haven't seen the miniseries. So this is I, I'm basing the movie solely on it being an adaptation of the book. And this is I'm, I'm judging it on a movie. Um, uh, honestly, as I said before, I'm a fan of slow movies with good performances, but I mean the perform just the performances alone didn't do it for me. Um, the movie was honestly I, it was hard to follow for me. Um, I mean I was following it, but I didn't see what point much of it had. I mean the movie starts off. There's a mole in British intelligence. All right, so I know there's a mole in British British intelligence. I already knew that from the trailers, um, but from there on it's like the entire movie. I'm like, okay, they've told me this. They've told me this. They've told me this. I couldn't tell you one thing that's going on right now, and all I know is there is a mole in British intelligence. Okay, they're gathering information. Okay, this guy is 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 being kind of blacklisted, and this person was kicked out for this reason. And it was it all felt like it should have been building up to something, but by the time it built up to something, 
I didn't care. Um, I got to the point where it was the last 20 minutes of the movie. It was building up to, okay, here's the reveal of who the mole was. And at that point, I was like, okay, if it could, I, I know all of the characters that it could be. If any of these characters were the, was the mole, I wouldn't be shocked or surprised. Even if the mole was Gary Oldman, I was like, I'm not going to be surprised. Um, and, you know, eventually they revealed the character and, you know, it wasn't, it's not like it was like, oh, it was him all along. It was just like, you know, oh, how could he do it? I, I, I just, I really had very little reaction um, to the reveal of the mole. Um, honestly, it, it, I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was, but the movie just wasn't, it wasn't grabbing me. It, the cinematography, the presentation of the movie, and I, like I said, the performances are great, but there's nothing really remarkable happening. I mean, the movie did really well, um, kind of putting you in this time period, but, and, and creating this tension, but it, it all seemed for nothing for me. Um, I was never really grabbed by the story. Um, it just seemed like a series of events that led to an unveiling of a mole character. Um, and, you know, that was pretty much it. It wasn't that fascinating to me. So yeah, ultimately it felt kind of flat for me. Um, great performances, story. I mean, the, the story just seemed like a series of, you know, events. But uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much, those are all my thoughts on the movie. I give the movie a solid, a very solid two out of, for I, I don't know if I could budge a whole lot farther from that. The story is the biggest thing for me when it comes to movies. Um, there aren't too many movies that I can let slide just because of great performances. Um, so I two out of four, I don't know. Critics seem to love this movie and I, it made me think like, wow, this, this movie is gonna be great. I, you know, it built it up in my mind, I guess, that I thought it was gonna be something that was really gonna bring me in. And in the end, it was, Kind of unremarkable. I don't know if I would sit down and watch it again because um, I, I maybe I might actually sit down and watch it again. Just knowing who the mole is and watching and seeing those signs um, that were th pointed throughout the movie. But um, yeah, kind of meh, kind of meh. And I, I hate to say that because I really, really wanted to like this movie, but in the end, personally, I just didn't like it. So uh, yeah, that is my review of. Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy. If you have any suggestions of other movies you would like me to see me review, um, whether it's a movie I've seen already or a movie you've seen, one of your favorite movies, leave it down in the comments section below and I will definitely uh, look into it. Maybe you'll suggest something that I really liked that I want to review, or maybe it's something I haven't seen that you really think I should see. Um, so let me know. 